Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Airships Conquer the Skies. In today's episode we're going to be consolidating the gains that we've made. We're going to be securing our continent and possibly preparing to move out just a little bit. But first there's one thing we have to take care of. A bunch of green dragons have settled here ages ago. We're going to send in the tanks and the Vengeance to hopefully take care of them. The Vengeance should have enough firepower and hopefully with the backup of the uh, the land ships it should be able to kill them. And then we don't have to worry about anything anymore. We also finally have some of our places recovering from the war so we get a bit more money back. That's always nice. You're going to fly over there. You guys are going to back up over here. And we'll start. You guys immediately switch over to aimed mode. There is a nest over here, but I'm not sure if we really need to worry about that. If anything, the concern is for the uh, actual green dragons over here. There's two of them. They're going to be they're going to be flying fast. Let's see, uh, if I can tell you guys to aim for that one. Hopefully that means whenever possible they will aim for them. We're going to tell the Vengeance to go fly to the other side of the map. That'll give the land ship something to shoot at, that's not the nest, hopefully. Yeah, they're currently focusing on that one. So he will get some shots in no matter what now. I'm going to tell you to go normal fire. They just decided to bump us, which is not useful. That dragon just got struck by lightning and died. Fair enough. I'm happy with that. Now we're going to go flip around again. Give him some bad news. You guys, are you? Yeah, you're still focusing on that one. That's good. Okay. We are taking a lot of fire. Quite literally. Please flip around. Thank you. Our suspendium is suffering because of this. I'm going to have to redesign the vengeance soon. And take into account some of the lessons that I've learned from its design. You're stuck. That's annoying. Why are you not moving? I literally told you to move. So annoying that it sometimes just doesn't listen to orders. We're suffering a little bit. This dragon is being annoying. Oh, there we go. It just died. Thank the Lord. Victory! The rumors were true. At least in this case. In the smoldering remains of the nest, your troops find gold coins. Giant jewels. Old crowns and enough silverware to equip a small castle. The proceeds make a fine addition to your treasury. That is 12,000 buckaroos. Damn. Alright, we are not messing around, are we? Well, that's nice. I don't have to worry about money now. Uh, Ziggurat, I'm going to send you to invade Korak over there. Take care of that. Sadine, we're gonna have to build some defenses, aren't we? Actually, Sadine's pretty well protected at the moment. It's got all the little air hussars. Which is nice. Uh, how are we on research to the flak cannon? Because that's gonna be able to deter bombers quite nicely. And I have an idea for a building. I've actually, in fact, already designed it for a test earlier. Just in free play at some point. So, once we get the flak cannon, we should be able to have some fun with that. I'm also going to split this fleet up. I'm probably going to move both of the stugs over to Steen. We're going to move the adva uh, yeah, the advantage will go to Nem. And the vengeance... We'll be able to move directly to Pacera over there. 
Now the idea here is that you're gonna stay in Blackvale, and you guys are gonna go to Sedine, because Sedine is like the one outpost that we have. Fire's a bit annoying, new Lumeria. Destroyed one of those towers. You know what? If that's what you're going to be focusing your spy efforts on and wasting your money with, be my guest. Cat Bridge is recovering from the war. Oh yeah, we burned that down, didn't we? Fun stuff, really. Fun stuff. Marsville repels Galonak. So these people are Galonak. That's good to know. They started... Oh no, never mind. These people are Galonak, and they just tried to attack them, and they were repelled. And it's Corona over here, okay. So these people conquered a lot of stuff. Not quite as much as these people, who are now completely unopposed and will be coming towards us soon. But they did a bang up job regardless. We're gonna go build a shuttle or two here. Does take 29 in maintenance. But if we just build a couple all over the place. They should be able to spring to another's, one another's aid if something were to happen. I'm a bit worried about Derpington as well. But like I said, we'll have a look at the defenses once we've finished... Uh, yeah, actually I'm going to take the land ship over here, the advantage. We're going to start moving you along the coast. Matter of fact, I might actually be tempted to send the Stugs over here. Instead of over here. Because these are pretty good assault tanks. I'm going to have to... Oh, that's... Us wiping out the last remnants of a Ziggurat or Vizigat. Those people. I think we might be able to do this with just one ship. Did I ever get you to... Yeah, I did get you to telescope refit. Okay, that's good. You should be able to deal with this. But should be and can are two different things entirely. That said, they are currently on fire. I'd hate to be in that position. Armor is gone, that's fine. Oh, we just set off the top rocket there. Good stuff. There goes the other one. And there goes the third one. So they're now down two rockets. Uh, I mean three, I can count. And there goes the final one. So they don't have any more defenses on this side. In fact, we're now setting them off on the other side, because we're rude like that. I would board if I had boarding troops on here, but I don't. You're allowed to surrender. We're just taking off their weapons one by one. Well, there we go. A uh, brutal takeover, please. Uh, the Southern Alliance and Sim. Oh, poor Sim. I was like, hey, we need to ally on one another. They're dead. They're dead. Anyway, we've got the flat cannon, which is nice. Do we go heavy steel armor? Maybe for land ships? But I'm not intending to use it on airships. Uh, probably a good time to start going for rockets and explosives and whatnot. Poor Sim. They're now being invaded by these people. That can't be good. We're gonna go send the spy to over here. Because it's a big city. I want to see in there. We'll continue sending the Stugs down to the coast. We'll have a look at invading Pale Sea. And we'll actually have a look at Durbington now. Because we can go defenses. There's a nice open field here. Uh, design a building. We're gonna go and open design. We're gonna have a look at the aerodome. And maybe not place it over here. But use like the little gap that we have over here. 
There we go. So the design for the aerodome is pretty simple. We've got a tiny bunker here, it's got a flat cannon. That has a blast damage of 8, splash of 6 meters. Will shoot troops and planes within 100 meters, so it's got a really good range. I'm not sure if it, like, it doesn't show you the max range here, but... 100 meters is good. This is going to be able to take out, like, tiny craft that attack us. They are known to sometimes try it. It's going to be able to take out bombers that fly high. Three piercings, not the worst. Quick reload. It's got a lot of ammo. It's got an entire ammo storage for itself. Like, this is not designed to defend against anything on land. This is specifically built to defend against the air. We've got the uh, the watchful gaze over here to take care of anything on land with heavy cannons. It's also got two triplanes. I don't know how much damage a triplane does. Which is a bit unfortunate. I would love to see some more statistics like how much damage does one Hussar do from the Hussar Bay? That sort of thing. But what we do know is that these triplanes are pretty fast. So they can get out of dodge. They're a lot more responsive than the Hussar Bay. Uh, you know, they're basically tiny modules that can't get destroyed. So these are long-range defenses, which is nice. I think they'll fit in nicely. We can't give commands to the building, but... I don't really care. You've got a barracks, a guard barracks, you've got a telescope even, so that we can accurately fire at them. And we've got a little flag! What's not to love? There we go, we'll put that down. That will be such a good help. And we'll go put one in Sedin as well. Because we might have these fancy towers. That will move forward just a smidge. Because they can, they can be on the front line. They can take a bit of damage, right? What's your armor? It's steel wall? No, it's stone wall. Do I want to refit you to a massive stone wall? I think I do. There we go. The windows even look fancy. See, it's a win-win. The Hussar bays are open, so they don't take... They don't get any armor. We're gonna go and refit you then, I guess. Matter of fact, we'll give you a refit as well. Everyone will get heavy stone armor. Or massive stone walls. Looks so much better now. I really do like it. Hussars might not be as good, but they're very vertical. This built this design. So it doesn't take a lot of space, which is what I like. And it gives the enemy something else to shoot at. So it's like a decoy in that regard. Except only certain weapons will aim at it. Which is still up a start. How much ammunition does this like th thing have? It's got one thing. Yeah. How wide is a flat cannon? It's only two, so that would not lie. Okay. I kind of like the symmetry of the design, so I'm not gonna mess with it. But if it was four wide or two wide, I would definitely put a flat, like cannon up top here instead of a dome. So that would be fun. Uh, anyway. We came here to build a building, not refit the current defenses. Although, you know, if our current defenses happen to get more better, that's a good thing too. Let's keep you moving down here. Maybe we put some aerodomes over here as well. Move you backwards further, and then we're going to build some more buildings. It only costs five in maintenance. These airfields are not very expensive. Right, they're, they're going to... They're going through the paces there. Okay, we don't have a lot of time to sit on our laurels here. Which is why I think it's so important that we do all these refits and, like, extra defenses. Oh, you need a... Uh, a watchful gaze as well. You are not very well defended. There we go. I mean, you've got the rocket building, which is helpful. Oh my god, so many poor defenses. 
To be fair, we didn't have a lot of money before this. Uh, and suddenly we find... A dragon's riches. That does tend to help. Does tend to help. Uh, what's your garrison looking like? Heavy cannons. Eight of them. Normal cannons. I think... I know what we can design to take care of you. I've got a pretty darn good idea. You don't seem to have any rifles. You have a telescope. And a crow's nest, but again, no rifles. You're seeing what I'm seeing, right? Yeah. You'd better be. Is I see a golden opportunity to go and design ourselves a thing. We're gonna go take a bunch of bomb bays. These bomb bays, in fact. And we're gonna make something cool. There we go. Now what might that be, you ask? I'm glad you do. We're gonna put some shapes in place. A medium bow. You know what, we'll go for a medium bow. We'll make this fancy. Yeah. Can we put a figurehead on that as well? No, we can't. It's technically considered a block. So we could have a floating figurehead over there, funnily enough. Nah. What I'm trying to build here is pretty simple. I would like... I think it's on the structure. I'd like a fire door on both of these sides. And then we're gonna put an ammo store right here. It's gonna be pretty. I will put a coal store up here. I wanna get lift a large suspendium chamber. Oh, that's not connected, really. Okay. Easy enough to fix. We'll put a ladder over there. Propulsion. Large prop. Easy. Currently we've got a good surface uh, radius, but that will change. I'm actually going to extend you by one. There we go. I have plans, my dear friends. I have plans. Lots of them. Resources. We're probably going to put a fire extinguisher over here. At least one. Also some births. We'll put some fire extinguishers over here. That'll be helpful, no doubt. Speed's currently high, which is nice. Put some births over here. Maybe put a resource hatch over there. Now there's a reason I'm going for this very long design. There we go. We're gonna make this a bomber carrier. Because that's a silly idea and I love it. Armor. Probably gonna go with steel armor if I can get away with it. Command and crew. We'll need a bridge. We'll need a lot of quarters. Steel armor is still going strong. Cool. We've got a speed of 140 at the moment. We can always... Uh... Oh, that's lift. Propulsion. We could add an engine pod over there as well to help it stay in the air. As for lift... I could put down suspendium lift tanks. I could. Or dust tanks, whatever. We'll see if that's an alluring design or not. I'll put a telescope over here so that we're more accurate. Accuracy is good. We need a lot more supply hatches by the look of it, Jesus. Like a lot. You require two supply. Three supply per quarters, yeah. 
We'll probably put some boarding defense on here as well, just to uh, make sure. Resources. Three supply hatches to hook you up to the ship. You're gonna need it. I'm tempted to go with something else other than a medium bow here now. Maybe... I mean, if we want to go really insane, we could literally put a uh, ventral turret on here. Which is kind of like the dorsal turret, except we can bolt it to the bottom and then shoot people with it. That would be insane. We could do it. But just because we can doesn't mean we should. I think it's going to be safer if we go for a bunch of muskets in the nose. There we go. They're not going to have an easy time getting ammo, I don't think. And the fire doors here will slow them down. But it does mean that if the bomb bay goes up, or the ammunition, hopefully the bomb bays don't suffer quite as much. But still, that's a very risky area. Yeah, it's not looking too great. Ammunition would take you five seconds. Would you would take you four? I think that's fine. Bombs don't yeah, they take five seconds to reload. So four seconds for that is fine. Kind of like the centralized ammo thing there. I think that works well for it. Uh, overlay pathing. Don't re think we need that at this point anymore. I'm trying to struggle with what the what else to fit in here. Guard barracks over here would be nice. Uh, we're gonna need more berths at this point, so we're putting in a berth over here, one over there. That gets us all the recommended crew, basically. We still have a bit of problem with the deck here. Maybe a sick bay. Sick bays are nice, means that people can recover when they're getting injured. Uh, we'll put some repair bays, I think. You don't need a repair bay for the um, the planes. I've tried that. You don't need it. There we go. Two repair bays. How are we for repair tools? Take out a repair bay. Take out the quarters. We'll switch them around. There we go. Everything except for the engine can get a reasonable repair time. Which is nice. Suspendium is going to suffer a bit. But they can still get there. That's not the issue. I think it's like 9 seconds, but like most of the important things can get repaired. I think we're looking pretty good. We'll need more crew now though. <laughs> That's the one downside. Yeah, maybe instead of... ...many berths, we could... ...potentially... ...like... ...squeeze one of you in there. Squeeze you over one. That still leaves us with one space that is annoying. We can fix that by just moving this out by one. There we go. 54 crew is going to be 48 in maintenance. It's got 50 coal, 18 water, which is not a whole lot. I do realize that. I'll probably extend you by one more, because you don't need repairs badly. We're going to put in another fire extinguisher over here, just to maintain adequate coverage. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Surface ceiling of 244 meters, which is not terrible. Commands every seven seconds. I don't think I'm going to be needing to command you very often, so I think that's okay. Maybe we'll go to steel wall on some of the lesser, like, required areas here. Like, maybe over here. It does... It doesn't look like the prettiest thing in the world, but it does give us, like, 10 meters extra surface area. There we go. I think we're going to need the surface area after all. 
So I think that might be a decent decision to make. So there we go, a very long and a very flat ship. I kinda like it, actually. It's not the worst design I've ever made. And it's a little elegant in its uh, length. Uh, anything else we need? We could put on some more cockpits. Or another bridge. We could do reasonably well with that, in fact. Uh, musket. If I were to go and put in another cockpit over here, would that help? No. Sometimes it's better to just leave things instead of trying to add cockpits that don't really help. We have a bridge. It would be nice to have a backup just in case, though. I think we've bolted enough stuff to this as it is. It's a weird ship, but I kind of like it. Now, what do we call it? The Risable? No. Uh, what do we call it? It's a musket. Save it as... Hmm. I'll be right back once I've... Th thought of a good name, actually. Because... I'm, I'm, I'm blanking. Anyway, back in a second. Alright, let's go. I've come up with a decent name. We're gonna call it the... Dominance. The Dominance Bomber. Carrier. Hybrid. It looks weird, but honestly, just roll with it. It will be sky blue. Looks like the middle line. That's great. Uh, painting is hard. Painting in the lines is even harder. Decoration, do we want to add anything cool to it? Maybe a pendant. We'll see if that does anything. I'll probably go over it later at some point. For now, dominance. I want one. Cool. We're gonna test that. Uh, rockets are done. Let's go for the less ammo flammability. That seems like a great pick. Because we've seen how much ammo tends to ignite and stuff. By the way, how expensive? Uh, it's only three grand. We still have 12 grand, it's fine, we're rich. What does it move to Pessera? Uh, advantage, Vengeance, there's a lot of things here right now. We're gonna see if we can do a quick ground campaign against Hail C over here. Uh, probably? I'm gonna go with probably. We'll see if we can take out one building or something. Go get some. Already blown up one of the flat guns. That's that's a good start. There you go the other flat guns. They're not terribly well armored, are they? Send forth the weird walker. Which is thankfully not its code name. Yep, they are very on fire. Sucks to be them. You keep walking. Hey, they're actually rolling a pretty bit faster now as well because of the 30% uh, armor weight decrease. I think steel armor weighs like 20 by default. It's down to 14 now. So that's uh, per block as well. So that does save a fair bit of weight. Couple hundred, easy. Uh, we're reaching a bit of a problem here, that being our lack of ammunition. They've taken heavy damage at least, so... That's something. We don't have any boarding troops. The only reason I say we haven't killed them is because it's night time, and because it's night, everyone's less accurate. 
They're running up here can do... They can do good sometimes, but it didn't really help this time. We're gonna... I think we killed one of them. And we also lost a Stug. Why? Couldn't tell you. Again. Uh... Build me another Stug. You know what? Build me two. Actually... Should I refit you? Nah, it's fine. Just build two. Uncontested victory. They were repairing. Marvelous. There's the ammo flammability down. We can get biplanes now. And actual bombers. We can put a bomber on our carrier bomber. Yo, dog. Oh, you need a building. I'm going to put a watchful gaze here. Just to be on the safe side. And we'll keep the vengeance over there. Unfortunately, Galonak is now gone. That just leaves us, these jerks, the Knopsch, and the Corono. Also, these people, I guess, but they won't be around for much longer. They have a superpower to fight against. There's actual dragons here, oh. I'm gonna have to design something for that. Also, Dominance, go! I want to see you bomb stuff, and then we'll end the episode. Yeah, we're going to have some trouble. Ah, uh, you are going to go park right over there. Oh, we've beaten the uh, things. The heavy cannon fortresses. There go the biplanes. Uh, the triplanes, sorry. They're not taking any return fire, so they're just going to strafe everything. I told you to bloody move, didn't I? I did. I did. Definitely did. I remember that. So this is what regret looks like. I think we may have just bombed our own thing. I'm starting to see some arguments why you shouldn't fit bombing weapons on a carrier, but that's just me. They're also not terribly efficient, I gotta say. Go aim accurately, please. Oh, there we go. We got their ammo, at least. Yeah, we're, we're definitely hitting our own planes with our bombs. I see a tiny bit of a design flaw here. I've got to be honest. Ooh, that building just had a bit of a meltdown. Quite literal, one might say. Alright, pose for a pretty picture. I, I kinda like the flag up there, I gotta be honest. Helps to have a flag. There we go, this is what dominance looks like, people. Treasure it. bombing our own stuff. That's not the plan, but, you know. Victory! Easy. Brutal takeover. I think we'll start fighting the Knops first. Their defenses are, uh, beatable. <laughs> oh, you poor souls. Oh, you poor souls. Yeah, we're, we're going up here. That's gonna be a thing. We'll hold the line down here, while we focus on taking out the Knops. But that'll be in the next episode. Until then, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, perhaps a comment down below as well. I always read them, I always appreciate it. You might also want to hit that subscribe button if you want to watch more airships, I'll be uploading some more later. You will also hit that bell icon, because YouTube is being weird. Anyway, until next time. Have a good one, folks.